Okay, in our first lesson on classes, we created a, um, a pretty simple class, and then in our second lesson, we just cleaned up um, the hard-coded values um, and talked a little bit about the static keyword. And so in this class, I just want to, in, uh, in this lesson, I just want to make this class a little bit more useful. Um, you know, always having to pass in nanoseconds, maybe you don't, your particular application, you don't even care about nanoseconds. Um, is a little onerous, so let's improve that and then um, part of what we'll be doing is making the constructor a, a little more elaborate as well. So I kind of want to have an enumeration here, so I'm going to create, um, I'll just do it simply for right now, um, let's just call it time units and let's say we want nanoseconds, uh, microseconds, uh, milliseconds and seconds is our enum value like that and I did that up out, uh, outside of the class um, and then what I'm going to do is inside the class I'm going to take a value and I'm going to take um, the enumeration value um, I'm going to take a time units and uh, and let's just call that the units so that you can specify the the time in any units you want. So let's go ahead and copy this um, and let's switch over to our CPP and so here's our constructor so we need to change this to take our new um, units in and um, probably if I save again you'll know a little bit about what we're doing. So um, we're not actually going to store the units that the user passed in uh, anywhere in our class. We're just going to use it in the constructor. So what I'm going to do here in the body of the constructor is I'm going to get a switch statement here and um, we're going to switch on the units that are passed in. Okay, and then we're going to we're going to do the proper conversion here so that uh, when this is nanoseconds um, we will we will set this is pretty trivial um, our time in nanoseconds is just value again um, so this is a little duplicative right I've already set it up here but I'm not going to worry about that um, and then we'll do another case for uh, microseconds and we'll say the time in nanoseconds um, I got my syntax wrong, I guess. I put the colon. So type ahead kind of breaks whenever you have an error here. Okay, so now time in seconds is going to be the value. Remember we were dividing before, so now we want to multiply, right? Nanoseconds. And then you can see why you don't want to hard code the values. So now if I ever had something wrong or needed to make a change, let's put the break keyword here, and then I'll put the other cases in. So there are, are other cases, um, and it's always a good idea to put something in the default. So we're, what are we going to do if somehow they manage to pass us in a units that we're not expecting? Uh, maybe they think we support picoseconds and they pass in PS. So let's um, let's just include the assert library, um, and let's just assert here if that happens. It's a programming error. Um, and so we just to say assert always, so assert false if we ever end up in this case down here. Um, and assert can be turned off. Um, so let's, um, we'll probably just put out a message too. If, uh, um, we, assert typically only does something in debug mode. Um, so when you're not in debug mode, it doesn't do anything. And by debug mode, I, I mean when you've compiled in that mode, not when you're running in, in the debugger. So, um, so if we're going to use C out, then we need to have include IO stream. So all those standard things we do, we can do with classes. None of that changes. Um, so we can say, okay. So it looks like I still have something that doesn't like about a cert. Let me just see if this will compile. It does. Okay. So now we have a little bit of code in our constructor. So now where we're using this will not be correct because it wants.
against two parameters, right? And since we're including those units, so now we can say, so now that's specified in nanoseconds, and then nothing changes, and this all should still work. Oh, that's interesting. It popped up because I didn't have it showing. Um, so, um, but now I can do something like, I can say, oh, I want to specify this in milliseconds. Okay, so now I'm telling it I want a billion milliseconds. So when I run this again, so now we can see we get 1 to the 15th uh, nanoseconds, you know, 1 to the 12th microseconds. And now, um, so, um, and of course we should have probably put out our units in our C out here. But you can see we've got a, um, a million uh, seconds now. So a billion milliseconds is a million seconds. Okay, so now if we, it, you know, just might make it easier for our code to, you know, if we wanted to do one second, that's all we have to do. Instead of saying one e to the ninth, we can just say one second now. Okay, so that's probably uh, about as far as I want to take this particular uh, class. I uh, just wanted to start with something simple and uh, show you how to uh, do the very basic things in um, in a class, and then. In the next lessons, we'll start talking some more about um, polymorphism and inheritance and things like that.